on everybody this is lady luck here again listen can y'all say karma <laughs> oh my goodness so i did a video last week thursday before i went to have a birthday meal with my illustrious mother and <laughs> it was about ti who <sighs> going on stage <coughs> and um at a comedy club here in, in Atlanta with a uh while a young lady Lauren K was on stage and made a joke or a statement after he had been heckling her and calling her the reword, which was caught on surveillance camera. I have that reaction in my uh Lady Luck chit chats playlist. Yeah, um he got caught being rude and disrespectful and heckling a comedian. And um, I said that um, in my Chris Rock versus Will Smith fiasco, where Will Smith still should have had a penalty suffered that the day he put his hands and committed all that battery at the Oscars, <sighs> that there should have been public penalty consequences. So that you don't have people walking around thinking that that is okay to do. And then, of course, T.I. did that a few days later. And unfortunately, this is with a female comedian. And he's a grown man. <sighs> so I did a video about that. And I said the precedence that it sets is horrible. And that comedians should not have to wonder in their mind if I say a joke. Even if it gets underneath someone's skin. Although I'm personally not a fan of punching below the belt. Uh, certain topics should just never be brought up. Whether you're rapping or doing jokes. And that's when you're talking about someone's mom or dad or children or spouse to an extent. I guess I, I don't think you should have a reason to go there on those three topics at all. And I think that's a, a below the belt punch. And if you're funny, you should be able to tell jokes. And you should be able to tell jokes about many other things without having to punch below the belt. But this guy right here decided that he wanted to charge the stage while a young lady was up there, a comedian was up there, after being heckled. Made a joke, um, a statement or whatever she was. I don't know if she was doing a segment or what was happening, but I do know she had made a comment. And it was about an allegation. And, it, I mean, it, he could have waited to after the segment to talk to her. But, nope, he walked up there and he tried to hug her. She pushed him away a little bit after she realized what he was doing. He took the mic from her. He just acted like a complete idiot. And bottom line, and that's exactly what I said in that video, and I'm saying it again. But now he sees that the comment he made was that it's easy to do this. Now you see it's not. Because now he went to New York. Yeah. <laughs> Man, New York's so hardcore. You could go up there and go. <laughs> Walk past people all day and they might not even say good morning or hello. This is how it is. <laughs> you you think you're going to go up there and just ran off on the stage and you're calling yourself a comedian and not get booed because you're a rapper? You're using your fame and name as a rapper to try to give you an edge in comedy. That is not how it works. It, it just doesn't. Because if people don't think you're funny... Especially if they paid their money to go to a show. They're going to show you that. Have you learned nothing <laughs> watching the Apollo? I mean, they used to have a Sandman come out with a big candy cane. And would loop a body off that stage in a minute. <laughs> Seriously. The Sandman took you away off that stage. <laughs> if you were not talented or good. Or if the audience started booing you. At the Apollo in New York. How could you think that it would be this easy for you? So we're going to check this out. Let's first give a shout out to the Media YouTuber channel.
Thank you so much. I had to send a comment and ask. I like to try to ask when it comes to content like this because, you know, this, this um, I don't know if it's a young lady or gentleman. I'm assuming it's a young lady based on the voice uh, tone in the beginning of the video. But the young lady created this, this video and I want to make sure that she gets her props. So thank you to the media YouTuber. Information on the um, the name of the channel will also be in the description below. But this is a video clip of him getting booed because he's not funny. Or at least if even if he was, he just ruined it because of the nonsense that he keeps carrying on. First, he went at Godfrey and said that mess to Godfrey that he did. And then he heckled a female comedian in Atlanta, Lauren Kay. Come on now. You let it get out, you go in the goddamn gas station. New York has made me the mother. See when I you know, this is I appreciate you. Stages like this has made me the I like this class I could be. Because you see the people in the crowd. Sure about that. Ah you see the people in the crowd and they're all looking like this is not even funny. We don't care who you are. This is comedy. This is not rap. The same thing Lauren K told her told him when he was heckling her and charged her on the stage, trying to act like he wanted to hug and all that. He never did say I'm sorry. He never apologized in public. As much as he humiliated and tried to embarrass her and heckled her and disrespected her. Not once in any of the videos they showed. Did you see T.I. tell Lauren K. I'm sorry on camera? But he called her the B word. At which he still owes her a million dollars. And I hope he pays up. And pay the taxes on the money. What is up TNY gang? In this video that you're about to see, T.I. does a comedy set and gets booed off stage in Brooklyn at the Barclays Center. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the very next video. So I'm not, I don't know if it's a young lady or young man, but thank you, uh, yeah. media YouTuber. Yeah. What the first chapter to Tila today, you know what I'm saying? And I see a motherfucker in my periphery. Doing shit like that. That we don't need king like the next king. She is the king. Oh, Lord. Okay. In education, I, I'm gonna tell you why I, I can't keep going with it. First of all, he's using more profanity than I I care for, and I'm just not a fan of that. Um. Secondly, he wasn't funny. You know, at that moment he was talking about his children. I I, don't, I just don't see what. Huh. <sighs> and then you think that you're supposed to be liked automatically. Because you're a famous rapper. This is a totally different art craft. And that's what Lauren K was saying when she got the mic back from him or he gave the mic back to the bodyguards or whomever. Four guys down there, nobody went up there, grabbed him down and took him out the club and said, no, you're going to calm down before you come back in. Nobody did any of that. It's, it's, it's stupid. And then the insult in him sitting down after all of that, trying to so-called rectify this mess that he that he created with this young lady, Lauren Kay, by talking to her like she's, you know, his his daughter. You know, I'm here to teach you and correct you. No, you're not. You, you don't need to do anything. She understands that this is a difficult craft. Comedy is not something that's easy to do. It's not easy to make people laugh for 10 minutes straight. Contrary to proper belief. Some people have the gift to do it. Some people don't. It is what it is. But if you got to like use a whole lot of profanity or you drag your own kids' names into this, I, I just don't get it. If you got to do all of that, then you're not, you need to go back to rap because you're just not funny. He could have literally said all that he said. Getting booed in a comedy stand-up show into a rap song and put a beat on it. And that probably would have done better. <laughs> I'm just saying. All that he said in that 
comedy show getting booed at the Barclay Theater in New York. You could have said all of that and put in a rap song with some beats. And that would have done better <laughs> than you doing stand-up comedy. He doesn't have the temperament for it. Could he do it and be successful? He could. But you have to work at it like everybody else. Look at that. And I'm going to use Dave Chappelle as an example because he is my favorite comedian. He started out when I first saw him, you know, prime time. He was in The Nutty Professor doing comedy. And here's a movie with Eddie Murphy in it. Eddie Murphy and Jada Pinkett. And, you know, he, he's up there doing his stand-up comedy and Eddie Murphy sitting out in the audience heckling him. But that was my first time noticing and hearing about Dave Chappelle. And then look how his career catapulted with his show. He only did two seasons. And you, I mean, you can still watch his shows over and over and over and over again. That's not something, it wasn't something he was able to do within a year or two or a month or two. It took years for him to get to that point. The whole point is, T.I. needs to work at it like everybody else. There's no shortcuts to this. Because if you're not funny, you know, comedy is one field, unlike rap, where you cannot go in mumbling your way through it. You can mumble rap all day, but you can't mumble comedy. You can't halfway do that. You either going to come in and do delivery on those jokes, have some good punchlines, or you could get up there and talk about some experiences. I like Bruce Bruce because he always say that. He just talks about his life, and he's just funny doing it. He has it crafted in a way where it, it's funny. <laughs> it, you just laugh at it, and I think he's naturally, like some people, just naturally funny like that. Cat Williams is another one. He's very realistic, and, and I love his approach to his comedy because he could talk about a variety of things. And his delivery, and it's just <laughs> punchline driven. You just know that at the end of that story he gives you, it's going to be something out the box, and you, you know it's going to be hilarious, and he knows how to pull it together. It took years. It's not something he was able to do in six months. <laughs> took years for him to be able to get to the point where he is. So a lot of comedians out there, they didn't become this overnight. It took years, and they worked on it, and they appreciated the art, the craft of comedy itself. Just like you had to learn how to rap, or you understood rap over time the more you did it making beats and doing all these things, putting your songs together, all of that. So there's no shortcuts to it, and I think he's trying to do that. Plus his temperament, he's too high-headed, and you got a lot of people that just panders when it comes to these celebrities, people who have a lot of money. Y'all stop doing that. When they mess up, just say they messed up because they don't pay your bills at the end of the day. So you don't really owe them anything. You don't owe them you know, the benefit of the doubt or the, the edge. Because when you don't show them correction, when you don't let them know that they're wrong, like enough, not enough people talked about um, T.I. when he heckled this young lady, Lauren Kate. Not enough people really got on him about that. There's always seeming to be some excuse when it comes to someone with a lot of wealth, you know, and notoriety doing something wrong. And it shouldn't be. Stop making excuses for these people. When they're wrong, they're wrong. And call them that and let that be it. And if it means that he doesn't perform somewhere because he heckled this young lady and disrespected her and called her to be word and did all this nonsense, you don't get to perform here for a, a month. Whatever the, the punishment is, that's what it is. Because he's a grown man. The same thing I said about Will Smith. I'm surprised he, he didn't go to jail. Like, are you serious? No average broke person living check to check would have been able to do that anywhere and not go to jail, at least until they got a bond hearing. I mean, good Lord. Ugh. So, the, the, you know, we got to stop letting things slide because of who someone is. That's, that's no. And T.I. is no exception to that. You, you know, I... 
you need to work on it and you need to you need to do something different. Your approach to this is just wrong. You're bumping heads. Way too many people. It's too so far. Godfrey and Lauren K. You have bumped heads with. That are both comedians. And they. This is their crap. You're coming from rap to comedy. But they've been doing comedy. They're working on. You know. Godfrey has a career in that. And Lauren K. Is still building her career in it. And she's a young lady. And you would not want anybody to do that to your daughter. So I hope he paid that $1 million tax-free to her. Because he said he would give it up if there was evidence on that. There's evidence. It's called surveillance cameras. And I don't know how you're not smart enough to remember that. All this technology we have. You cannot walk through a comedy club and not get caught on camera. Especially because of who you are. You're going to stand out in the crowd. If you're heckling someone and calling them the B word, of course, you got caught on camera. And now you got booed in New York. And you walking around making it seem like you're not butt hurt, and you are. <laughs> that it's it's things because he doesn't have the temperament for it to not hurt. If he was tougher than that, he would not have heckled that young lady, Lauren K. He would not have bumped heads with Godfrey. He wouldn't be so animated over small things if he was not that temperamental but he's too temperamental to be walking around here lying to himself and to others saying oh no it didn't bother me that i got booed you know that's that's the brain's way of trying to accept all that rejection by heavily denying and trying to paint this picture like you know this is really good for me in some way just say no nah, that didn't feel good it sucked let me stop lying and cut this nonsense out. It, it's up. And I really thought I would be able to come into this, hit the ground running, because I'm T.I. I mean, just be honest about it. Anyway, it's Mama's rant for the day. And I don't want to have to talk about T.I. no more with this comedy crap. Because it's just... Ugh. So you guys stay safe. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. And until the next video.